Oftentimes, testing directives is going to depend on the way you define the scope. We have three different ways to define scope on a directive. There's scope equals false, which borrows shares the scope with the parent. Scope equals true, which is going to have the standard prototypical inheritance pattern from the parent, and then isolate scope, which is where we define a hash here. In this case, the NS stateful directive, we've had a scope equals false there uh, since the beginning of the app. And I've added a new method here called scope.log node behavior. And what it does is it takes a message from its scope and it throws it into this dessert log. And if we take a look at that dessert log dot messages, it's just a standard value that has this messages empty array. And if we take a look at the test over here, I've created a test here that checks to see that it's empty at first, pushes a message into it, and then it sees if it contains the message. So let's take a look at that. Let's run all our tests. Okay, 45 success, so that's good. So one of the interesting things we can do here is we can now isolate this and say, actually, we want children of this to be in a new scope and this itself. So we could say this is true. So let's try that out. Let's take a look at our test. All of a sudden, it's failing. And the reason is because there's no method log node behavior on this scope. Once again, the test doesn't know about the parent. It doesn't know what it's supposed to inherit from. And because this is compiled with this parent scope, it's assuming that it's on the methods on this scope when it's actually on its child. So we actually have to do the reverse of what we did in the last tutorial. And the best way to do this is get a copy of that scope. So we'll take a look here. And I'd just like to do this in the before method. So we've got it handy. And we'll say my scope equals scope dot. And you can either do child head or child tail. Either one's going to give you that because it only has one child in this case. So if we do that, we're still going to have the issue because it's still testing on this. So let's switch that to my scope. Let's take a look at our test. And it looks like we had success.